All right, welcome. It's like a merry COVID Christmas because we got our our Serbo GX, um, and uh, this is supposedly like one of five in North America that came in, right? And this is the was it the fourth of of June? Is the fourth or fifth? Okay, it's the fifth of June, right? And so we got this thing, and, and most places are saying they're not gonna get them until like like uh, August. And anyway, you know, we got one like one of five. Uh, I was driving along in the car and my Amex said I got charged for it and I immediately beelined for uh, fisheries supply. And the second I got in there, I got a text that said, you know, my will call was ready. So anyhow, this is it. And uh, you know, it's not a super exciting box, right? It smells good. It smells like cardboard, your regular cardboard. But check it out down here is, uh, you know, if you check it out, this particular one is, uh, it is Rev 1. So this is literally like one of the first ones that are out there, as much as they say that these are out there and like Victron had an unboxing, but all it was is basically just chilling their product. It was no unboxing. So you know, this is it, this is awesome. And if you're into Victron and you know, all the systems around this stuff, you know, this is like the, the holy grail. It has Wi-Fi, has Bluetooth, has all this cool stuff. So. I'm gonna chill out, right? This is like, this is a good day. This is a good day. We didn't even know this thing was coming in, so we're super stoked that this is that, that we finally got it. Uh, literally, um, I, I called one of my uh, my installer that was putting in the rest of these things, and and uh, I, I was immediately offered a thousand dollars for this thing because they're they're impossible to find. You can't get them. A lot of people have their installs on hold until they can get them. You you might be one of those people. So anyhow, um, and I'll show you. We got touch. GX for this thing. Uh, it's just sitting there dead because I had to put a color GX into the system just to run my system. So anyhow, I'm just, I'm stoked. All right. So anyhow, uh, enough of that. So anyhow, we opened the box here and let's take, let's take a look. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Check that out. All right. So, you know, what we've got here, um, we've got a, a bag of the connectors. Uh, we'll kind of go through that stuff. And then this is this is the money part. We'll just set that aside over here. So uh, this is the Servo GX. And if you take a look at this, it's pretty awesome because it's smaller than what I saw or kind of envisioned uh, when I was uh, looking at this thing online um, and, and all the pictures around this thing. So anyway, so let's talk about this. This is what the GX looks like over my shoulder here that I've got it integrated into the Raymarine and it's their UI and I can see like, you know, what's coming in off the grid, what are generators feeding, what, what we're using from our inverter, where the state of the batteries are. It's, it's super cool. Um, you know, and this is what, this is kind of the device that brings it all together. Uh, they've never had anything like this. And so what happens on this one is um, it has Bluetooth, which none of the GX series have Bluetooth. Um, it also has um, Wi-Fi that's integrated into this thing, which is sweet because my Color GX, I had to plug a little dongle into it and it drops all the time because it's wireless and it kind of, kind of sucks. Um, but anyhow, this has all of that all integrated into it natively. So before we get into the sweet inputs on this, uh, because this is freaking so amazing, uh, we'll, we'll we'll dive into the the bag of goodies that comes with it and uh, how they how they terminate and connect all these pieces. Before we jump into that, though, check this out. This is like the the game changer, uh, as well as all the the inputs and the expansion of inputs that they have over any of the GX lines uh, for controlling your inverters or solar uh, chargers, etc. It's sweet. Um, so right here, it has integrated Wi-Fi and it has integrated Bluetooth. Uh, because as you know, all the GX stuff, none of them, you, you, you couldn't connect them uh, with your Bluetooth. Now you could on your BVMs, which was pretty sweet, um, but that's no fun. They just gave us like a taste of it and then they wouldn't let you do it with the GXs. Anyway, so this is where, um, I'm getting a little sweaty, I'm excited about this. This is friggin' awesome, just for that. Just for that is, is, is amazing. Now you might say, well, my Color GX has a dongle that I can connect into my Wi-Fi uh, with my hotspot or into my, my, uh, you know, my Wi-Fi. Yeah, okay, but they drop out all the time. They kind of suck, like dongles do. Um, and then the Bluetooth, there was just no workaround. You couldn't use the Bluetooth uh, dongle, and I've tried. It's not supported. Uh, that was a sad day. It's no longer a sad day. All right, so let's talk about uh, this right here in our bag. Sorry for the crinkly, but 
excites the dog. All right, so first of all, this is uh, the power cord. It's all pre-terminated already. Just snaps right in, uh, and it has a slow blow fuse associated with it. Pretty sweet. Uh, we'll put that to the side. Now the connectors. This is, you know. God bless Victron. They always, uh, you know, they always provide these terminators. Uh, make sure that you don't have any noise coming in the system. Most people throw them away. Why? Use them. All right. So there's two of these. Um, and then I'll go through. Now, these probably don't make a lot of sense right now, but these are terminators that they use for their different inputs. And we'll kind of go through all those. Um, there's a couple different types. Uh, we have the eight connectors, and then we have the three connectors as well. Um, nice terminations on each one of them with the spring clips. Uh, nice barbs and snaps on the other side, so nothing's going to fall off, especially on an RV or a boat like we have. A lot of vibrations, things pop out. You know. Uh, all right, so two of the, th the triples and three of the, the eight uh, connectors. So put those aside and I'll tell you why we have those. All right, so let's go back to this. Um, I'm gonna start with the boring side, which isn't that boring, but it's pretty sweet. All right, so this is our power, power connector, right? Um, let me see, we've got a Relay 1 and a Relay 2. These are to be able to start your gen sets. Uh, if you have any alarms that you wanna have, you can trigger all of those. They're totally configurable, they're amazing. Um, moving over to this other side here, uh, so let me see, we've got our digital inputs. So, you know, nowadays a lot of things are moving to digital uh, as far as any of the signals, uh, as, you know, uh, triggers, etc. And so these are our inputs for those. Um, this is where, uh, let me see, the temp. All right, so temp, we're used to being able to have temp feeds for our batteries for cutoffs, those types of things. Um, but these, temp sensors, you can actually use anywhere you want to. You can use them in your engine room or your RV. Then we have the last piece, which I'm super excited about, is these are tank monitors. How awesome is that? So anyhow, the way we're thinking about this is we've got a port and starboard fuel tank that are gonna be connected to these. Um, and then we also have a holding tank and a water tank. Um, you know, usually you'd spend, shoot, you could spend $500 for a module that monitors your tank levels. And I don't have to, it's already in this. So that's kind of a bonus. I like bonuses. All right, so let's flip over to the business end of this bad boy. So we've got some uh, we've got some USB connectors. Okay, these USB connectors, uh, you know, for NEMA, um, you can also use these. In fact, if you take a look at this HDMI port right there, that's where the touch screen, the color touch screen that they have that uh, partners with this, plugs into. But you have to power it, so it's going to consume one of your USB ports when you do that. All right? Um, then you've got the BMS can. So if you have BMS batteries that are compatible with Victron, that's right where they go, all right? And then you've got the VE can. Um, VE can, there are, you know, this is somewhat uh, common that you find out there, but this is what you connect into for, you know, other inverters, um, your solar chargers, etc. will go in here. And then your inverter, like your, uh, your Quattro or your MultiPlus will then connect into your VE bus. So there's two of each of those. Um, so good connectivity on these. You don't have a single where you get kind of locked out on those things. So anyhow, there's three of these. Um, these are super cool because obviously these control uh, your your solar uh, charge controllers. Uh, we use them for the uh, BBMs. So that is that's basically all the power shunts that we have for our different systems. Uh, the one last piece is if you want, you can also, it does have an ethernet port. So if you don't trust your Wi-Fi, you can directly connect into your ethernet port right there. It's the best way to go if you can. Uh, in a boat, things are kind of tight and I've been kind of lazy. And I don't want to run it from my port side of the boat uh, where my Quattro is hanging out over to the starboard side of the boat. Uh, where this guy is going to be hanging out. So, uh, anyhow, this is, like I said, pretty sweet. If you look at it, you know, it's it's tiny. It's way tinier than I thought it was going to be. I, you know, from the pictures, it looked, you know, I don't know. Like guys, you always think it's going to be a little bit longer. I don't know. No false advertising here. It's, it's awesome. Nice and compact. Um, 
So anyhow, uh, we're gonna get this thing hooked up. We'll show you how it all integrates and how it works together, but I'm jazzed. It's happened, they're here. So for all you people that are on back order and been waiting for these things, um, yeah, it's, they're, they're gonna be coming. They're gonna be coming. And as we know, I mean, I made a joke a little bit about uh, a COVID Christmas, but these are designed in, yeah, the Netherlands, right? And they are actually manufactured in Malaysia. And so because of COVID, right when everything was gonna ship, everything got jacked up. Um, and they've got tons of these on back order. Victron really wants to make sure that they get these out for everybody. Um, it's, it's a game changer for them. Uh, quite frankly, their GX products were already way ahead of everybody else. But with this, <laughs> everybody else in the inverter game, you've got some catching up to do. That's all I gotta say. All right, since I am terrible about being patient and waiting for anything, what I did is I disconnected my color GX that I have here. This was uh, basically in my system uh, until I could get, you know, the, the servo to show up. And so since it showed up, this bad boy came out. So what I did is I basically just went through and just connected everything from the back of my color GX, um, which doesn't have touch screen or anything. And let's be honest, it's just... It's not that sexy. So um, anyhow, here's our our Serbo GX. Um, I just I just wired it in. It's kind of sloppy. I apologize. It's a it's a bit of a snake nest here. But uh, you can see I basically attached the power, and uh, this is my auto gen start relay, uh, and I've got it hooked up to a uh, normally open contact. Uh, then I just went through, and it's really straightforward. I connected my this is my uh, touch screen for the GX, and which is gonna be exciting to see if it's on. And uh, this is the USB that powers that touch screen. So you can see how it goes in that cord here. Um, then I've got my ethernet connection, which actually doesn't look like is connected. So I need to solve that. Kind of push this in, get the click. Um, and that actually is integrated into my Raymarine system. So that's why that exists on this system. Um, and then this is the VE bus, which connects to my Quattro. That's that blue ethernet cable that we have here. These are my VE directs. Uh, and the reason I've got the VE directs are for my VM VMVs, which have the shunts uh, attached to them. So anyhow, you can see that everything is up and running. Um, I've got green flashing on my Wi-Fi access and blue flashing. So they're both ready to pair. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set the servo back in here let's lay it down for right now that's my uh non-graceful installation so sorry about that please apologize except my apologies and i'm going to flip this up and see what our touch screen says and boom okay that's exactly how i left my uh inverter my quattro i turned it off before i switched them over so as you can see i've got my bmv 712 over here. Um, everything's turned off right now. Um, there's no loads on anything. So now I'm going to go through and configure this bad boy and I'll show you how that uh, ends up once we turn on the Quattro, how that all lines up. All right, so come on in here. Uh, this is our GX. So the touch screen is working. It's showing that the grid is drawing uh, 4,400 watts ish. Uh, the batteries are basically just topping back off. Uh, and uh, we've got some AC loads right now, 2,200. And then the rest of the, well, it's on a diminishing amperage because it's up to a constant voltage now for these lithium iron phosphate batteries. Anyhow, this is freaking cool. So we are, we're set. Now what I've got to do is I've got to go through this thing in the menu and I've literally got to go through and basically reconfigure everything that used to be in my GX. So that's why I've got this bad boy powered up so I can go through and just set it up the way I had the rest of the system set up of all the config that's on the GX. Everything that was configed on the Quattro is already there. All the charge profiles all of the amperage uh, regulation for the quadra, all that's there. So anyhow, uh, before I kind of start going through and doing that, um, you know, I just want to point out, check this out, man. We got fuel tank uh, four, three, two, one. I can go through, I'm sure I can hide all of these, but we have battery temp sensors uh, that can all be connected to the servo as well that I was showing you. Um, 
this is sweet, 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 sweet. No notifications, so nothing's going wrong. Uh, absorption, uh, you know, we can go in and look at this. You know, the, the quattro is on. Like it says, it's an absorption. Shows you all of the line readings and stuff. But this touch screen is so sweet. Um, this is this is awesome stuff. So anyway, we'll get this all configured. Uh, but all I can say is, uh, I'm stoked. I mean, the, the changeover was super easy, super elegant. I've got nothing to complain about. I have nothing to complain about. So the question is, especially since a lot of you have it on order, and I'll put some links down below uh, if you want to order the, the color touchscreen as well as the, the servo. I'd say it's totally worth the wait compared to this Color GX, which is seven year old technology. Um, the software is really the same, but you don't have a touch screen. You have to use these keys and everything. And let's be honest, that's sweet. That's old school. So is it worth it? Absolutely. If you're jazzed about what we're talking about, go ahead and click subscribe because it helps us out a ton. And hit that little bell because when we talk about our entire Victron install with this bad boy at the heart of it, you'll be notified and you'll hear all about it.